Green flag ready. And a compact speed car feature race is underway. I can't have an O'Neill side by side. Look at Harry Stewart on the top side. Three across the track in the battle for the lead. Stewart goes to the middle. O'Neill blocks him into one and two. Stewart looks to dive back to the inside. Icano sniffing around in third as well. Look at Harry Stewart, Tegan. Yeah, doing a great job there. He's having a good battle. Down on the low side he goes. The race is on here for first and second with 18 laps left to go. Matt O'Neill goes back to second. Harry Stewart doing a good job. Moves up to first position. Jacob Arcano in third. Back to Luke Williams and Andrew Parks. Field just starting to stretch out now with 17 laps left to run here. Side by side battle goes past us. Oh, and a car up and over. Oh, big one. Arcano upside down and turns three and four. The number 20 will come to rest sitting on top of the number car. Number 20. And Jaden will be a little bit sore and sorry, I, re I would imagine. Pretty big moment down there, Tegan. Might have a look at the ultimate big screen to have a look at the replay and see how that transpired. It's all messy in the back end of that thing too. Oh! No wonder he was a bit sore and sorry. That's a big moment for the number 20. We'll just slow that down and have another look. And look at the rear end of that thing. That's all sorts of sad. So we'll slide this down right at the point of impact. Oh! And that one's a rib rattler. When the left... When the left rear digs into the track and you stop in a hurry like that, you're going to be a bit sore tomorrow in the rib and the hip area. No wonder the production crew on the truck was so animated. Yeah, big one there for Jacob Eichenau. And uh, unfortunately, bringing an end to his feature race, doing a great job there, sitting in third and now will retire. But glad to see he's out of the car and now OK as we get ready to restack these compact speed cars for their feature race with 17 laps left to run. Harry Stewart will lead us away. Matt O'Neill will start out of position number two. And it's good to see. High tech calls to Woomba Speedway, giving these guys a nice long feature race. 20 laps is a long way around in a compact speed car. We've got the ability on nights like these, we've got a night one program and a the feature cards are a little bit smaller with their preliminary features. That we can feature some of these support categories and the compact speed cars are certainly very appreciative of getting their moment to, to shine here under the sun. So at the restart, it'll be Stuart, O'Neill and Luke Williams. Williams was impressive in his heat race earlier on. We'll see if he can do anything from third here, Tegan. Yeah, Parks just sitting outside the top three as well. See if he can make his way forward. As the green flag flies once again, Stewart doing a good job to get us down into turn number one as Matt O'Neill and uh, Luke Williams go battle a battle first, second and third. Put the first lap on the board from the restart. 16 laps left to run here. It'll be Stewart, Matt O'Neill, Andrew Parks moving his way forwards. Yeah, Parks with a big move to the inside. And get shuffled back as he gets pushed back to the top side now. Yeah, so Parks with a big move, and now he gets shuffled out the back here, Tegan. Yeah, Trenor having a look in there as well in the 63, trying to move his way forwards. Oh, Parks! Oh! Oh, oh Parks just oh, making some big contact with one of the ruts out of turn two there. And into the... What's your name, mate? Uh... Jack just did a rollover down here in the middle of turns one and two as well. Good to see Jack's out of the car and A-OK. -okay. Compact speed cars feature race set to get back underway here. So flip, flip count scored to three in the compact speed cars. Jack, who's probably 10 years old on the hill here. And a couple out of the racetrack as we're going to go back green here with 15 to run. And Stewart 
runs the shots line through one and two, right through the slick. O'Neill's going to follow him. Luke Williams has a little moment. Right at the point where he made contact with Parks. The last time round, Trenor buying in on this one as well. As Dave Collins at the back looks to put a move on the inside of the 33. We all start to settle down into a rhythm here now. 13 to run for the Titan Garages. Number 11 of Harry Stewart. He went down and contested the Australian Compact Speed Car title a couple of weekends ago. We're going to go yellow on the raceway here because your second place runner has pulled up at the top of turns one and two. And it went no more as it went past the strike. Yeah, Luke Williams very lucky not to be caught up in that. As uh, as Matt O'Neill slowed, Williams had nowhere to go and ran over one of the wheels. So very lucky not to have any more rolls there. He said, just push him into the infield. I'm pretty sure I was one of these kids that used to run down to the or used to run down to the fence and give the drivers a wave. <laughs> Let's go to the ultimate screen. <laughs> oh, wow. But how about to dead set? That was very lucky, Tegan. Absolutely. As we have a look at how they're going to restack, Harry Stewart still to lead this one. Luke Williams moved up to second position, as we said. Lucky not to get caught up in that one. And Trenor now in the top three as we go green once again. 13 laps left to run here for Harry Stewart to pick up the win for the feature race for the compact speed cars. Put some car lengths between himself and the second spot of Luke Williams early on. Richard Trenor within striking distance of Williams. Let's see if Sean Robinson outside the top three can do anything here to make his way on the podium. Yeah, Robinson probably a little bit too free on the exit of one and two. And didn't get any go for it. So Stewart is just doing it in a canter at the moment. The Titan Garage is number 11. Williams sits second. He's pretty free as well. Off turn exit. And he might fall under pressure here from Trenor, who's just plucked away on the bottom. In the Master Mac 2000, number 63, Trenor running the bottom to perfection. Tiptoeing around on the low side of the racetrack. Harry Stewart sounds like he's doing about 2,000 revs coming through the corner. Just proper idling down low. Using no more than he has to. Like a complete professional, as we mentioned earlier, contested the Australian title at Wangaratta Speedway a couple of weeks ago. Had a big moment and a big fire in the car, so... Big work from the crew to turn that around to come back up here. A second and third are side by side now here, Tegan. Battle for the runner-up spot. Yeah, seven laps left to go, and the race is on for second and third. Harry Stewart completely checked out, but the battle going on between Luke Williams and Richard Trenor. Trenor now moves up to second position. Luke Williams will go back to third. Last step on the podium for Luke Williams. Clay Seaborn's now moved his way up to fourth position and Sean Robinson back to fifth position. Five laps left to run as your race leader goes across the start. Finish line, Harry Stewart in the number 11 doing a great job out in front. Luke Williams not able to get back onto the attack for Richard Trenor. Trenor now putting a few car lengths between himself and that uh, third position of Luke Williams. Clay Seaborn now starting to close in as well. Getting into the final laps of this race here tonight. The feature race for the compact speed cars and high-tech oils to Woomba Speedway. Harry Stewart doing a great job. He's just rolling around doing everything he needs to do at the moment. All the drivers setting their quick laps in the first four or five laps of the race. So everyone has settled into a groove. Trenor running the bottom. In second position. It's not the first time I've seen Luke Luke. Get up on the outside of turn number two and get out of shape. As he goes back to the bottom. It's a pretty processional affair here in the closing stages. There's one to run, Tegan. Yeah, Harry Stewart receives the white flag and I must, I must think that he must think, 
Oh, finally, Harry Stewart in the number 11 looking to put the feature race behind him here. Richard Trenor still sitting there in second position and Luke Williams in third. Comes out of turn number four, does Harry Stewart the checker flag away when he picks up the feature race win of the compact speed cars. Richard Trenor across the line in second. Luke Williams home in third, Clay Seaborn and Sean Robinson rounding out your top five. We'll uh, take a short ad break and get your podium up onto Victory Lane for the compact speed cars. Titan Garages and Shed number 11. Harry Stewart doing a fantastic job in the compact speed cars feature race here tonight. Puts it up in Victory Lane after a hard forward, hard fought race. We'll get the top three. 